Hi, I'm Patty Brady, and today we're going to explore techniques using the two new A to Z kits. This project is a fiber paste skin transfer. The products you're going to need are fiber paste, high flow fluorescent pink and indigo, soft gel gloss, fluid teal and green gold. You'll also need a plastic sheet protector, a palette knife, a round brush, a scrubby sponge, and a black and white printed image. For the first step in this project, we're going to make an acrylic skin and we're going to use the fiber paste. I've started with an oval. This is the shape that I want my acrylic skin to be. And I'm going to make the skin on a sheet protector, which makes it very easy to take off when the uh, fiber paste is dry. So we're just going to squeeze the fiber paste directly onto the sheet protector. And using your palette knife, just spread it out to the edges of the drawing. You don't want to leave holes in the middle of the skin and you want a little bit of thickness. Fiber paste dries to a paper-like surface, a little bit like a very rough watercolor. If the surface seems too rough for you, you can also just add a little bit of water on your palette knife. See how nice that smooths out? And there we are. And now we just have to let it dry. Now that the skin is dry, you just carefully peel it off the sheet protector. The next step is to do washes on the dry fiber paste skin. We're going to keep in mind that this is the image that we're going to transfer onto here. First thing we're going to do is dampen the fiber paste with water, clean water. We want this to be a water media or a watercolor wash like application. So we're first going to use the two high flow colors, fluorescent pink, beautiful bright pink and the indigo blue. And you can see these are very ink-like in viscosity, wonderful for using in a watercolor-like application. Now we're going to switch and use the fluid color. This is this beautiful teal color, a little bit of the green gold, taking advantage of the surface quality of the fiber paste. Now we're going to let that dry. Now that our wash is completely dry, we're going to do the transfer. We're going to use soft gel gloss and we're going to coat the entire surface. And you want to make sure you cover at least all the areas where the image is going to be placed. And we're going to place this image directly into the soft gel gloss. Now just use your fingers to make sure you burnish it now, all we have to do is let this dry overnight and then we can remove the paper. Now that the gel has completely dried, we're going to place this entire piece into the water, get all the uh, paper wet. This is going to help remove the paper, pull it out, and we're going to use the sponge. This side is the scrubby side and you can see how it's already removing the paper. Just carefully keep moving it around. If you scrub too hard, you can actually scrub the image off. Pull the paper away and you can start to see your image. Hope you enjoyed that project and thanks for watching.